It's a question of, do you want your country to be owned by people who, who pay tax or not? And if you do, then it doesn't matter where they go because it's, it's your country. And, and, and you can ask the people who own your country to pay tax on those assets. So um, I think it's, it's very, very simple, really. And I think it all comes down to this, you know, Roman Abramovich was not able to put Chelsea Football Club in a bag, you know. And these rich people, no matter where they go, this country will still exist and the assets will still exist and they can be taxed here. And um, I think when you understand it like that, you realise it's actually very simple. Of course we can tax them. And that raises the question, well, why don't we then? And, um, you know, there are a lot of possible reasons why that could be, but I'm going to give you a couple of suggested reasons. Number one, Rishi Sunak is the 222nd richest man in the country. He's worth over £700 million. His father-in-law is one of the richest men in the entire world, and he chooses the tax laws.